As time goes by, it becomes more and more difficult to buy healthy at the supermarket. 95% of all processed products contain genetically modified foods. Most of the sugar you buy has additives to it. It's hard to even find meat that is not commercially grown in the most of unnatural ways. In one word, terrible. So what can you really buy? How should you be shopping to make sure that you buy and you're taking home what is really healthy? So in today's video, I'll reveal how you can buy healthy at the supermarket and say goodbye to taking junk food home now and always. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel is a conventional doctor to my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need to line an appointment quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Having a well-planned grocery list gets you in and out of the store quickly and helps you stick to a healthy eating plan, obviously. Simple tips like the ones I'm about to reveal today can not only make and save you time, but also prevent you from falling into terrible health conditions in the near future. How many people really know what to buy or how to buy healthy at the supermarket? How many people know what's the healthiest item they can choose to take home. Which ones should you stay away from? So in today's video, I'm going to reveal how you can buy healthy at the supermarket and say goodbye to taking junk food home now and always. Number one, read your labels. Be very, very careful because one of the most dangerous buying practices that we have today is going to a supermarket and not reading our labels. Most people don't know that the food industry does an excellent job in manipulating information to make you think that what you're buying is healthy. It's very common to find a healthy claim printed on the front of the box, but if you look carefully, it's not entirely true. Take stevia, for example. Millions of people buy stevia as a form of sugar that they can take home and, and have. What most people don't know is that this product might say with stevia, with very small letters with, and stevia in gigantic font, obviously making you buy something that is not 100% stevia. By doing this, they're introducing other products into your home, products that you, trust me, you do not want to buy. So be very, very careful with what you pick at the supermarket. You have to read your labels and make sure that what you're buying is truly what you want. Now, obviously the first time you shop and you shop this way, it might take longer. The good news is that once you get this over with and you know what you're buying, that's gonna be easy for you to buy every single week. So don't worry about that. You might suffer once, but you will not suffer in the future. Number two, buy whole grains. Why is everyone telling us that whole is better? Well, let's think about it. It's very, very simple. A whole grain, for example, contains all of its nutrients. It still has all of the most important parts to them, like the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. Now, refined grains have had that germ and bran removed, leaving you with the endosperm. This means that lots of the vitamins, fiber, and minerals contained are lost once those grains are refined. So try to look for whole grains. They might not taste as good as refined grains maybe, but trust me, they have a huge, huge difference health-wise. So go ahead and buy whole, remember that. Go ahead and buy whole. If you need a good quality multivitamin form that you can take that not only contains every single vitamin and mineral you need, but also 42 different fruit and vegetable extracts that improve overall health, Look for multivitamin from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number three, stay away from packaged goods. Why are packaged foods unhealthy? This is a valid question. We've heard so much about avoiding these type of foods that we need some answers and we need clear ones. You see, buying packaged foods in the supermarket can lead to people with eating more than the recommended amounts of sugar, salt, fats. Take the cereal aisle, for example. There's virtually no cereal on that aisle that doesn't have some sort of added sugar, coloring, salt, or ingredient that is not genetically modified. 
When I go to the supermarket, I never go through that aisle. Believe me, I know that every single package cereal I see has probably some ingredient that I do not want in my table. This obviously not mentioning the absurd amount of calories most of these foods contain. And if you think I'm exaggerating, I can probably come up with a list of hundreds of studies that prove how packaged foods, processed goods, accelerate and are a risk factor for diabetes, obesity, heart conditions, inflammatory bowel disease, autoimmune conditions, and even cancer. So eating these foods is definitely not a good idea. Try to stick to natural foods that come in organic states. Now, if you need a good quality supplement formula that contains the best concentration of milk thistle available to improve liver and detoxification processes, look for thistle essence from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number four, spend the most time in the fruit and vegetable areas. When you're at the supermarket, you should be trying to spend the most time in that fruit and vegetable area. Think about it. Fruit and vegetables contained no saturated fats, no salt or added sugars. And on top of that, they are an excellent source of dietary fiber. Fresh fruits and vegetables are important and a very important part of our diets. They contain essential vitamins, minerals, fiber, nutrients, you name them, they have them. In fact, research has shown that a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables is key to reducing the risk for cancer, heart disease, diabetes, any condition you want. This is the section you should be spending the most time in, definitely. And again, in this area, try to look for no packaged vegetables, no frozen goods. They're not the same thing as fresh vegetables and fruits. Number five, do not buy sugar or fat-free products. Don't be surprised when I say that it's not a good idea to go on that section of fat-free and sugar-free products. The secret lies in eating healthy, not changing the core ingredients of your food with something that ends up being worse than the original ingredient. Don't let that label fool you, that diet label fool you. Aspartame, for example, aspartame studies have found that this substance is actually linked to weight gain instead of weight loss. It increases your risk for diabetes instead of freeing you from it, and the same thing happens with an incredible number of diseases and conditions. Aspartame, which is added to every single dietary supplement or even dietary food you might eat that has you know, fat-free or sugar-free food, is terrible for your health. Okay, so this is sugar, but with regards to fat, we already know that healthy fats are very important in our dietary consumption. It's very common to see those fat-free labeled foods being bought enormously by people who go into a supermarket and think they're doing a great job into buying healthy. This is terrible because what you need is healthy fat, not fat-free foods. I mean, you need to meet, you need to make cells, you need to make membranes, you need to make every single organ in your body carries fat. And you need fat, healthy fat. And how about the channel by giving this a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or align at a point, visit onlinemar.com and check out these other videos related to this topic and find information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.